Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Friday. This is my favorite day of life. It is my favorite day of life, you guys. My favorite day. Yeah, that's Gabby in the back. Puppies are going outside. Are the puppies going outside? Why do I smell strawberry? So what's happening? Like that thing, I yeah. Strawberries. So what's happening today? What is my favorite day? Thanksgiving. It's cleaning day. It's cleaning mm -hmm. day. Is it your favorite day, Gabby? No, but I like it after it's all clean, except for she messes it all up. She is messy. This one's gonna mess it all up now. Yeah, Gabby. The bathroom, stuff. no, because you never take her. That's why I leave her here. You should take her to the bathroom with you. These were Gabby's her. words were saying they they have to be a couple months old to be able to go in the bathroom. No, they don't. When Gabby got her puppy, she took her everywhere with her. And if Gabby was having a shower, then that puppy stayed in the bathroom while Gabby had a shower. And it really, First time she walked. yeah, like it made such a huge yeah. difference, you guys. Like it, it, it trained that puppy so good. Hey, it bonded her to Gabby so much. Gabby just says words to her now. She's like, Molly, bathroom. And the dog runs upstairs to the bathroom. Molly, bed. And the dog runs into her room. Like Gabby. No, her cage. Yeah. My bed. Oh, well, yeah, like Gabby taught her that way and I think Sophie needs to. Sophie is more like the kind of parent that's like, will you babysit my puppy while I go have a shower? Like, Sophie's a babysitting mom and Gabby is a taking care of herself kind of mom. But anyways, back to today. Back to my favorite day. So is it your favorite day? No. No, but you can make it when it's done. All right. You do you do it. Yeah, but today we're all doing it. So basically, What's gonna happen today is that we are all picking a room and then we're gonna have a little contest and see who does the best cleaning. So everybody's responsible for cleaning their bedroom and one room. I have the kitchen, of course, and probably the dining room. Um, Gabby, Sophie is going to do the living room and then Gabby is going to do the upstairs bathroom. It's gonna be a competition and we're gonna see who does the best job ever. I have the bathroom. Yeah. I need bleach. Yeah, there's bleach up there. Okay. Or else it How went do down. I do that? Just pour it in the toilet? Let well, so there's... Sit there for a bit? Yeah, that's what I would do. Just let it what sit there. What about the drain? You have to unclog it. I'm not doing that. Yeah, that's what mean, Dad needs to do. For some reason... probably Dad's beard in there. That's why. Yeah, I, our... Your hair. I go there, and there's, like, Mom's brown hair in the sink. And I'm like, all right, that's how it's clogged. Mm -hmm. And okay. I brush my hair over the sink. You go, apparently, like that over the sink. Uh, okay, so, okay, I have so a tip for you guys. Okay, tip us. Don't get a puppy. <laughs> Did you just Don't have to chase her down to the barn? Get an adult. Drop it. Because they Rescue. will run down to the barn. Adopt, don't shop. Adopt a pup. Adopt a dog. Don't shop for one. Don't buy one from a breeder. But then you could just. My dog has some. Come here. Here. Drop it. Come here. Drop it. <laughs> We're talking about her. The bed has traveled. That, that's the traveling bed. They drag it all around the whole house. Get yourself a border collie puppy. Yeah, get yourself a border collie puppy. You no, know, they learn so well. Don't get yourself any puppies. <laughs> yeah, what's on your nose? No, she's really good though. Mine is really good. <laughs> all right. So obviously we are a competing family. So today we're competing on Mine's cleaning better. rooms. So all right, we're gonna get started. And I'm. Do you think you're gonna win? You're cleaning the uh, the living room, which means all the shoes, all this. Pull out the couch, not, wash the floor. You know, I'll just send my puppy underneath the couch to get all the toys out. All right. So do you think you're gonna win? Do you think you're gonna win? No. You have to do the bathroom really good, Gabby. You picked the hardest room. Kitchens and bathrooms are the hardest. You have to scrub the tub. You said the kitchen was the easiest. Yeah, well, that's because I was trying to get somebody else to pick it. <laughs> No more carpets to vacuum. Yeah. But it kind of is the easiest though. Wipe down all the counters and the table but whoever, and do dishes. Yeah, but who, no, it had the floor has to be washed. I'm going to clean out cupboards. See, it's not even that hard as that. Well, we'll see. Anyways, I think, personally, I think that I'm going to win because. I'm you the one like that cleaning. I like cleaning and I'm better at it than them. Like, obviously, Gabby just asked me all these questions. Do you know how to clean? No. no. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we're going to learn today. All right. So uh, we will come back in just a few minutes and uh, show you guys where we get, how it works, who wins. Do not wear that to clean because I'm telling you, cleaning is what, that's why I always wear, I'm wearing like track pants and an old I'm shirt. Because you'll get bleach on it. You can't use bleach. Don't wear anything you don't want bleach on. Bleach will, will, will splash. 
uh, here. Everybody's going to get one of these. These are to wash the baseboards and the walls and the doors down. Hey, give me two because Daisy needs them. No, 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 don't give it to her. These are expensive cleaning erasers. All right, so somebody is enjoying the whole cleaning process. Sophie is cleaning underneath the couch cushions and Daisy is taking a bandage. It's so adorable. Like, she's just settling into our house so well. Like, she's just, she's like, I'm the king. I'm the queen of the castle. You all are the dirty rascals. <laughs> Even though we're taller. Yeah, but she thinks she's <laughs> look at that cute puppy. Ruby's like, how do I get in on this action? I'm gonna sue you. For what? Making me clean. <laughs> Are you hating it? Yeah. Sophie just cleaned all the windows over there. What'd you learn about windows? It sucks. No, but what did you learn that was cool? You I heard you saying it was just cool. Ripping the couch apartment is cool. The ripping the couch apartment is cool, but the windows flip in so you can clean the outside from inside right didn't you like that yeah but now it's cold over there we'll go close the windows okay this is the final product it took me the entire day to clean this kitchen i washed all the baseboards all the floors i washed the walls i it took me the entire day to to clean that. Okay, hold on. And it was not helpful with the thing. Alright, so uh, the kitchen is completely done. The floors, when we when we moved here, the floors was the last thing we had to do to get this house ready for us, and we didn't do it yet. It is still in the plans. It's going to happen. Anyways, um, tomorrow I'm going to do the dining room. Tomorrow morning, because the dining room is a big deal. I have the dog crates here. I'm going to move them upstairs, get that ready. This is Sophie's room. All the toys I put away? Yeah. But that thing took them out. That thing. that thing. So we have a rule in our house. The big dogs are not allowed to sleep on the couch. We don't know how she got up. <laughs> she just gets up. <laughs> she just knows what she wants to do. And then she does it. Oh, you're such a devil dog. Well, I was snuggling with her and then she fell asleep. So asleep. Sophie cleaned all the windows, washed all the trim everywhere. With no help. With a little bit of help. Uh, she's not done the coffee table yet, though. Well, that guy is stud kit. I don't know who's pencil sharpener. Debbie, yeah, you gotta move your stud kit. Okay, so, uh, well, she messed it up. She did it before I could video. But basically, what did you clean the mirror with? Some water? Yes. Mm-hmm. I could tell. Basically, this is what you use to clean it. Also, did you clean around the toilet? I did. Like here? No. Don't flush it, I have bleach in it. Okay, well you have to actually clean it. And you have to get the scrubber and scrub the inside of the toilet with yeah, the bleach. No, I'm not doing that. You have to do that. And what about underneath the toilet, like on the bottom of the toilet? I'm not doing that. <laughs> you have to, you chose the bathroom. Your daughter, Sam, I'm sorry to say, is not gonna, not gonna make a great housewife. I'm not cleaning. <laughs> she is not loving it. Sam's home from work early. We're gonna go and get some stuff. I wanna get a couple of tablecloths. I do not like what he's doing right now. Looking at my tires like there's something wrong. Is they coming with us? Yeah. Is there something wrong with my tires? I think so. You think so? What? What's wrong with my tires? It's flat. Flat! Did you check your car before you drive? No. I have a husband. I'll let him do it. You guys, we have done so much car repair this month. Are they flat? Oh, I need air. Okay, so we are done cleaning for the day. Tomorrow we're going to have to continue again. The girls are going to have to do their bedrooms and Oof. we're going to have to redo the bathroom. And I'm going to do the dining room. So, so we're headed out to do a little bit of shopping that I have to get done. I need a few more things that I couldn't get. Like I couldn't get pop. I like to have pop for when people are come when people come over, but the kind that I buy I couldn't find. So, and I need stuffing, stuff to make stuffing, breadcrumbs, and so we're gonna go out and we're gonna do that. But while we're going out to do that, I wanted to talk about my new horse. <laughs> I'm already considering her my new horse. As long as like barring any physical problems with the horse, she seems like she's gonna be really perfect for me. She used to belong. We need to fix my foot, it still hurts. She used to belong to a seven year old child. She used to, so this seven year old boy used to ride this horse through the trails in Tennessee. I think in Tennessee, Tennessee. Anyways. 
It used to belong to a child. The child used to ride this trail all the time. They used to go camping with the horse. Like, it's a been there, done that, amazing horse. Like, she's told me so many stories about the horse, and I'm like, yeah, that is the horse that I need. And then I started to get heart palpitations, thinking, oh my, oh my gosh, like, I'm gonna have to take care of the horse. Like, it's all gonna be on me to take care of the horse, and which I don't really mind that much, but I hate winter. I'm allergic to the cold. And then, like, it's just a lot of responsibility, and then, like it's gonna be winter and then like winter is just so awful to buy a horse and I just get ahead of myself and I get panicking and then I think like maybe I shouldn't get a horse but then I think ahead and I think like in the spring in the summer like next summer I have like some serious plans there's this trail near us that I was like I knew about but we haven't explored it yet and you could even camp there and it is amazing like it puts the Pasofino place to shame that's how amazing this trail is and you can take your horses there and i want to go there and i want to have a reliable safe horse like i want to create what i feel at the pasofino farm with my family so and sophie's kind of getting the bug for riding on the trails like yeah like it's it's like so i have to like I think what I'm trying to say is that in life there are things that are always overwhelming and stressful and crazy and you always worry and and the best way to deal with that is to acknowledge the struggles but let it go and concentrate on the things that you want like I know that I need a horse that like her that's gonna be bomb proof and it's gonna be take care of me and that it's gonna be a simple easy ride and and I just have to let the rest work itself out I think that's what I'm trying to say so even if you know I put some sand in the arena and we ride a few times a week in the arena through the winter I mean I want to go but I yeah like I could drive my horse into the other barn where the boys are and there's another lady there that has a gated horse and she invited me to go on trail rides with her in the winter she rides in the winter and she's experienced and I would love that but anyway that's my whole feel I think this is probably gonna be the right horse for me I think it's gonna work out and I'm nervous as heck, but I'm gonna go for it because I really like, I, yeah, I just really want that. Like, and for all of you guys who are thinking, like, there are no bomb proof horses, because I can hear it in the comments, there are no horses that are gonna be safe like you want, but when you ride a gated horse, that's why I want to ride a gated horse. It's a totally different feel. So, like, this seven year old kid rode this gated horse because no matter how fast they go, it's still so much more safe. I don't know how to explain it. It's so smooth. It's just like sliding along. It's not like crazy riding. But anyway, yeah. So that's that's my feel on my new horse today. Okay, so we are in the dollar store. Resemblance. Did you get? Oh, yeah. Huge resemblance. Yeah. All I want are two plate, two tablecloths. That's it. Just two tablecloths. I found some. That's just a orange one. All right. This is. Perfect. I don't really like that. I want like a fall one, not a Halloween oh, one. <laughs> Gabby wants to know why are they not giving justice to crows? She says crows are bigger than this, but actually crows are like this size. Remember crows when we had a bigger. baby crow? I had one. I held it. I know how big they yeah, are. Yeah, I love crows. He was a baby and he's bigger. Crows than are that. amazing. Hi. All right. All right. What did you get? I got Halloween. Yeah, we got Halloween candy. I really want these, but they have sugar. Are you reading the the labels? Come what? You can come doing. That's what no you're doing. Grams, zero grams of sugar. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look it. <sighs> so inside of them, half of them are peanut butter, half of them are fudge. Fudge. Hurry, people are waiting. And then this one, there's pumpkin pills, chocolate flavor, and then. We have creamy caramel cups, aka like um. Chocolate from the dollar store is gross though. And double crisp monster. Okay, look at Gabby's hair. First, let me show them your hair. I don't know if you guys can see it in the light, but it's half pink and half purple. It looks so cute. And half blonde at the end. Yeah, and half blonde at the end. Matches her skeleton face beautifully. I want a skeleton face now. Like if you're gonna have a skeleton face, then rock that skeleton face, you guys. Right, so we are at the barn now. It's riding lesson time, riding with Brandon. And horses are already in. Lucky boy. He's like, what? I have to ride? Anyway, we're gonna have a Brandon check Finn's mouth because when we bought him, 
when we bought him, he just had his teeth done, and then our our vet checked him, and he oh. needed his teeth done again. And he's been not wanting the bit in the last few days. And, and he's been fighting against it. And Sophie said, and Gabby, Sophie and Gabby said that he he has a sharp spot in there. So we're gonna get Brandon to check it because we don't know what, for sure what we're looking for, right? Come on, hurry up! We have 30 minutes until lesson time. You have to be on your horse. We aren't even here. I know, but we need to be ready so they can have the space. Hi, Texas. Oh, he knows his name. Hi. Oh, so Gabby's riding Chino. And this is going to happen. He has a short neck. He has too long of legs for his neck. So he always has to go like that when he eats. Does he have a short neck? Oh yeah, I see what you're he saying. He always has to bend one of his legs so he can reach his neck down. Other, like if he does not bend his leg, his neck does not reach the ground. So uh, Gabby's going to ride Chino a lot more in lessons because um, lessons with Brandon. And Storm's slow. And Storm's slower. And hate life. But. Oh, there's a massager on the back of it. Okay, get going, get going. But the whole idea of having Chino is to have a new show him? horse and she needs to work with him. She actually needs to work with him more than she needs to work with Storm because her and Storm are a good team already. Storm it's time. We know each other. We know shows. You There's know each no other. Refusals. He just goes over Yeah, Gabby them. trusts him completely. And she needs long dying. Yeah, she needs to get to that point with Chino. Chino. So yeah, she almost dies with Chino. We need to get past that. We need to get past that point. No, it's because he's long. Apparently, Gabby gave me her spurs the other day and I lost them, but I don't remember it like that, you guys. My mother never remembers it like that. It's cold in here. I do remember her giving them to me. I just don't remember where they are. Oh, they gotta be in the back, right? Yeah, I think so. All right. Brandon's grabbing Phil. Brandon's grabbing, oh, Brandon. No, mom, no. Brandon. Do you have any smaller girth? We have a smaller girth for him at home, but he. I don't think so, I think. We do. We bought him a girth. Stretch let me do it, it up. Have, okay, let me do it up. You can't get it up anymore. Oh my gosh, I can get it up. I feel that I wore a winter coat just in case when I'm hot. I feel the excitement in the air. Sophie and Finn, Paige and Gary, I feel like he's Gabby and Chino. He's free, Sophie. And then 17 miles behind, Kaylee and Oakley. Kaylee and Oakley. Sophie, pay attention and listen to the rules. Because if, if you run somebody over, it will not be good. Oh. Dabby. <laughs> All right, we got it set up. We got a jump there, a jump here, and a jump there. And we got rainbows. You guys know how much Sophie loves the rainbows. Sophie can't jump that Oh, good. Sophie's not jumping the rainbows. Hey. I want to jump the rainbows. Which. Kaylee loves this one. So we got this big, we found this big tire. Oh, you want the, you want my scarecrow? Yeah, we'll go, let's put the scarecrow on. Okay. Uh, Girls are like, yes, I might die, I might die today. I, I love this time of the day, like when the sun's going down and it's dusk. He feels free. He feels free? Okay, so Sophie has a new bit on you guys, just in case <laughs> I forgot to mention it. All right, so I'm gonna put Wendy. I keep forgetting, I have another, another thing for her. Another pole to make her big. Wait, what? And I keep forgetting to bring it. Plus, we have a boy. All right, there we go. Wendy do the scarecrow. Yeah, my guess is that this is for the big kids. This is for the big kids. Gabby likes to terrorize me. Um, this is for the big kids. And then this is going to be for Finn. I think Brandon just went out the door there to get some Finn. Okay. And he's getting you some, just some regular fill that Finn likes. Um, Finn does not bend with his bit. So he doesn't bend? He's a llama. Oh. Yeah, careful. I'm it's backing him up. Watch out, there's people behind you. Who's ready to Me. Well, we'll work on it, we'll see. <laughs> so Brandon said, what's 12 times 12? I was gonna say 144. Kaylee didn't get the answer, so only the people who got the answer get to canter. And there he goes. <laughs> you get to canter! Two plus two! <laughs> Kaylee says it's not her fault because she just took, she's in science right now. She hasn't done math yet. Mathematics and science. No, you don't, Brennan. I burn my hands with fire. That's what I do. Well, I can't light wrong. a match. 
<laughs> Maybe you should not canter. <laughs> Maybe I should not. Don't you know that you're beautiful?